purpose of our tryouts this year was to add to our already illustrious fight team. Um, we have fighters in the biggest promotions in the world, UFC, 1FC, Bellator, etc. And we just really wanted to add to our already reputable team and, and just uh, make everybody better. First of all, I want to thank all of you for coming, okay? I know a lot of you traveled very, very far to, um, for this opportunity, so thank you very much. The coaches, myself, the entire staff, it's very appreciative, okay? The fact that you made it out here says a lot about you wanting to be part of this team, okay? So we appreciate that very much, all right? Um, Coach Hickman? Training here full-time gives you the opportunity to fight internationally. Uh, around the world um, Since I've been here for two years. It's taken me everywhere. So uh, be positive regardless of the outcome And once again, thank you all for uh, pr for participating and giving it a hundred percent and giving your all. Thank you This time the scholarship was a little bit different um, Now with the new the new owners and stuff and new staff we have uh, the availability to, to keep guys here uh, for 12 months out of the year for a full scholarship, everything included, which is, is awesome. It's awesome for those guys and it's awesome um, for us coaches to have new people to work with because, um, you know, we still get to learn from different people from all around the world and it's, it's awesome for the guys that are here full-time training and coming in for their training camps because it's more guys to train with. Now, before we hand out the scholarships, there's a certain, uh, certain particular situation we had with one of our candidates. This gentleman is already in the top promotion in the world within mar mixed martial arts, okay? And despite that, he still wanted to come and participate in the tryouts and go through the same grind and earn his stripes here and earn that position, okay? We offered him a position on our fight team before this, okay? and he chose to go through it. Okay, that says a lot about his character. Okay, and that's the kind of people that we want here. All right, just like to introduce you guys to our ambassador of TMT MMA, Daniel Hooker. Yeah, I'm uh, real happy with the team selection. It's a, it's a tough squad, you know. Um, Spent three days grinding it out with these guys, and I, I know what they're made of. They're all, they're all tough guys, are high level. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to getting in with the team. I think uh, eight o'clock Monday morning, we get to work. Back at it, man. All right, first MMA scholarship we're going to be giving out, Mr. Magomed Osnia. I feel I'm so happy you know, to, to be in this team and I can't wait to, to train and to grow, you know, to, to show everybody that, um, that I, I really deserve this belt because, I mean, I want to show, you know, great fights and everything, yeah. I can't describe, you know, the emotion what I have right now because I'm so happy, you know, to be in so in a team like this, Tiger Muay Thai, it's the greatest team where I've been. The three days was really hard training, you know, um, everybody, the, the, the guys who compete in these trials was, was also really talented, good fighters, and I think everybody deserved this place, and yeah, but the training for it was really hard. Gentleman who's been here a few times, put in a lot of work, <coughs> earned his stripes, okay? Official team member now, Adam Busev. I'm just like shocked, overwhelmed. There's so much talent here, so many good guys, like, I thought, you know, I had a good chance because I, I worked hard, I pushed, I pushed. Um, but yeah, so many tough guys, so many people here deserved it. Um, but yeah, I got a I got a shout, so I'm just I'm just relieved. I'm real relieved. Like it's a big opportunity. Um, you know, I won't pat myself on the back. Monday morning, the training begins again, and yeah, it's gonna make this happen. So yeah, I'm real happy. All right, the next MMA scholarship we're gonna be giving out. Mr. Ilan 
from Kazakhstan. Чувствую себя отлично, очень даже хорошо. Как будто золотую медаль выиграл на Олимпиаде. Ну, планы такие, чтобы тренироваться, проходить здесь сборы. Спасибо вообще Тайгеру, что выбрали, дали возможность проявить себя. И в течение года стать лучше, вырваться в топы. Mr. James Brom. Man, I, I can't stop smiling. Um, literally, there's three spots, and I knew Mago was going to get one before I came out here. Uh, he got the first one. Uh, or oh, sorry, Dan. Obviously, we didn't know Dan had already got a spot, so there was, in fact, he'd already won one. Uh, Mago, and then Adam won one. And then one of the Kazakhstan lads won one, and I was like, well, that's the three spots gone. You know, for whatever reason, I haven't been chosen, but it's been a great experience. Uh, but my heart sunk, and then uh, and John picked it up and said, the competition's been so tough, we had to award a fourth place. And he said my name, and just, ah, now I can't stop smiling, man. This has just been an amazing experience. And um, all I can say is I'm echoing the thoughts of all the coaches and all the team, in a sense of guys that haven't won today, don't give up on your dreams, you know. If anything, I've been training since 2008, been a pro since 2010, six years. And if the last six months, the last two years have told me anything, and that's do not give up on your dreams. And here I am, now part of the Tiger Muay Thai fight team, just won a scholarship, ready to take my career to the next level. No, we should be on social media, so. Our first ever female MMA scholarship. Female came in, impressed us a lot, very well rounded. Um, we're glad to have her aboard. It's Mallory Martin. <laughs> now, if you want to date this girl, think twice. <laughs> Excited, ready to fight, ready to train hard but I feel like I prepared for it mentally and physically, emotionally. Uh, hopefully fight a lot and train hard and improve and learn and grow as a fighter. This is Thailand. This is Tiger Muay Thai. We're the largest Muay Thai gym in the world. We have extremely high standards, guys. I congratulate you for pushing through so far, but the journey's just started for you guys, okay? First person we'd like to invite aboard, Mr. David Luduk. It's been my dream uh, to be uh, in, the, in the fight team since like years ago, and uh, the time was not right at the first time. Then I came back, grinded out, and uh, we did it. And it was not easy. Like the, the trainings were hard, the sweat and pain every day, twice a day. But we did it, and uh, it's going to be a great year. I think. Yeah, very happy. <laughs> Too bad his girlfriend just arrived, so he can't take a picture with the with the lady. He said it's okay. He said, he said it's okay. okay. All right. I don't think I heard him say maybe two words the entire tryout. Okay, but all the Muay Thai trainers knew his name immediately. Okay, his technique really stood out. Very clean. I'm looking forward to seeing him grow as a fighter as well. Mr. Chenate Aldrich. It was quite difficult, but we can move for that. And yeah, it's what good. I never do a training like that, like uh, never stop. But it's a nice experience. Another fighter, immediate standout in the tryouts, okay? Uh, the uh, crew boys were impressed right away. Name stood out right away. Uh, looking forward to seeing what he does as well on the international stage. Mr. Christian Luber. Guys, it was
was a very grueling three-day process. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you come back and join us, okay? Because we only make each other better. All right, this is an amazing facility, but it's the people here that make it world class, okay? Guys, thank you very much. Thank you for coming.